How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how to reinstall OS X on your MacBook Pro, your iMac, or your Mac Mini I guess would be the other option. So let's get started. It's really really easy to do and it's also kind of fun. So I'm really excited about this tutorial. Now in this particular case I have a MacBook here. It has uh, an operating system already installed of course along with a bunch of applications that I've installed. I want to start new. Most people would probably want to reinstall OS X if something went wrong, like a nasty virus, or if they just want to sell it. So this is what you do. First thing you want to do is you want to come up to this Apple icon here, and I'll kind of zoom in on the screen a little bit. You want to come up to the Apple icon here. You just want to click it, and you want to hit shut down. And then just confirm that by hitting enter on the keyboard, or you could just click it. And now your computer will shut off completely. And now what you want to do is you want to turn your computer back on, so hold the power button and also hold Command R. And just keep hitting R. And what this is going to do is it's going to boot into what's called OS X Recovery Menu. Um, and that just gives you a bunch of options. It's sort of, um, it's sort of like uh, the BIOS for Mac, I guess you could say. <clears throat> Not really, but kind of. <laughs> anyway. It'll take a little bit of time. It'll just start to load. And then um, give it a couple seconds. I'm even going to pause the video and I'll get right back to you guys in just a moment. All right, guys, welcome back. So it's successfully loaded into OS X Recovery. Now we can have a little bit of fun. So I'm going to zoom in real quick here. And we see four options. We have Restore from Time Machine. We have Reinstall OS X. We have Get Help Online and Disk Utility at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and click Disk Utility. I'm going to double click it. <clears throat> and then this little menu here is going to pop up. Now what we want to do here is we want to basically format or in other words erase everything that's on our hard drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, um, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys can tell from my voice but I'm kind of sick. But I'm going to click this C right here. It'll, it might say something different, um, but basically there will be a little partition right here that you want to click. Um, it, it should be under internal. And then you're just going to want to click erase. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to confirm that and erase it. And it's basically just going to erase everything on your primary partition. Which is what you want if, you're, if you want to start fresh. And then you're going to click done. Okay, after you've deleted that, what you can do is you can hit this red button here, the exit button, and you can come to reinstall OS X. And you guys are pretty much done at this point. All you want to do now is just click continue and um, give it a second. <clears throat> and then it'll basically tell you that it's ready to install OS X El Capitan. And we just need to wa walk through the setup process. So just click continue once again. It's going to need to verify that your computer is eligible for this um, for this download, which if you're running a legitimate Mac, then it will be. Um, and then you just want to click uh, agree to the terms and the services, all that crap. Of course, nobody's going to read it. You're going to want to install it on the hard drive, and we can see that C drive again. And I'm going to click install. And it'll ask you for your Apple ID. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to not show that, of course. Actually, I can just edit it out in the video. Welcome to 2016. <clears throat> All right. So we booted, or we've logged into Apple ID, and it looks like it's going to get started with the download. So here we go. It's going to download this part will take a while there will be some restarting as well so if your computer kind of shuts off and turns on again it's just all part of the uh, upgrading process um, it says about one hour and 19 minutes or 14 minutes now it's saying so I'm gonna let this run for a bit and you're pretty much done at this point but I will come back with you guys I will come back to you guys in about yeah about an hour or so and let you guys know how it went and of course if you have any questions then just go ahead and leave them below and I can respond to them uh, at my earliest convenience. All right, so after the operating system has been installed, they're going to kind of run you through a basic setup process like you had to do when you first got your MacBook. I'm at the part where I select my Wi Fi network, so I've selected it, and now I just have to input the password. 
and now it's asking me if I want to transfer any information from an old Mac to this Mac. I don't have any information I want to transfer, so I'm just going to leave it by default and say don't so or don't transfer any information now and I'm going to click continue. I'm going to enable location services. I'm going to sign in again with my Apple ID. Um, <clears throat> and it should get working in a couple seconds there we go again agree to the terms and conditions again you're pretty much just walking through a very basic setup um, yep, that's fine and um, <clears throat> it just says in the bottom left hand corner creating an account And it's taking its time. <laughs> I'm not interested in that. And I'm not interested in keychain either. I recommend just not using keychain. It usually tends to be a bit of a mess. Um, <clears throat> well, yeah, okay, sure. Go default for there. This one that's basically asking if you want. Um, you know the developers at Apple to see when your system crashes if it crashes um, they want to know if it's okay with you if that uh, if that crash gets reported to them so they can do something about it I'm just gonna say no um, you can say yes it, it doesn't really matter um, it takes up a little bit more network resource if you if you allow them to do that but it doesn't really matter I just prefer not to and now we're at the final stage where it's just gonna set up your Mac and here we are we get uh, introduced to our new desktop here, and this is factory fresh pretty much. So there you guys have it. You just successfully installed OS X El Capitan. You reinstalled it. It's working perfectly fine now. You can go ahead and download everything that you need to download. There's one other thing I'm going to show you. It just kind of popped in my head here, and I think it's probably a good thing to show you guys. I, I don't know if they still do it by default, but normally what Apple does is like they make it so you can't download other applications unless they're from the App Store, but we probably want to change that. So go to the bottom uh, right corner and, you, and go to System Preferences and click that. And I'll just zoom in here a little bit for you guys. And then what you want to do is I believe it's under Security and Privacy. If you click this... Um, and we go, we can see here, allow apps downloaded from Mac App Store and identified developers. Well, we want to change that. So we're going to click this lock button. We're going to enter our password. Did I even, oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Briefly forgot my password. Um, all right, so we're going to change this to anywhere. Um, and it's going to give you a little bit of a warning saying that, yeah, if, you, if you're allowed to download from anywhere, then if you're allowed to download from anywhere, then basically you're, you have more risk of contracting a virus. But if we're smart with what we download and we have an antivirus, we don't need to worry about that. So I'm going to click allow from anywhere. Um, and then I'm going to click this lock button and secure it back up. And now you can download applications from any, um, any, any website or, or any, any location really of course you should be careful um, when, whenever downloading any kind of program but yeah now you guys have a, a ready to go MacBook or iMac or Mac mini so if you guys have any questions about the installation then just let me know otherwise give this video a like comment rate subscribe you know how it goes I'll see you guys in the next video